Hey everybody. Okay, so I made a pinwheel and it's all Muriel's fault. She's been making a ton of uh, pinwheels and this is Muriel who is Miss Cooper's Coop. Now hers actually works. She has been picking up the ones that have the little mechanism um, that you can put on the straws. It actually comes with the straws too and they actually will spin but uh, I think she found them at Michael's um, on sale or on clearance so she's been picking up a lot making a whole bunch of them, making bouquets out of them, and blah, blah, blah. So, um, some other people have picked up the punch board to make a pinwheel, which is awesome. Um, but I remembered having a pinwheel file in my Silhouette Studio. So, here's one that I made. And I will show you the file and just quickly how I made it, um, in case you do have... Uh, Silhouette Studio. Now, I don't remember if I bought that file or if it came with my, um, you know, when I had bought the, the, the Cameo. So, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, I know that one came with it. I just don't remember which ones. So, it is absolutely adorable. And let me show you what I use. Okay, so here's the back. I squeezed the straw flat to glue it to this and then add something to cover the back. A really cute dimensional flower. And I used this paper here from my mind's eye that I had gotten at Hobby Lobby and I had gotten it on sale. I think it was 50% at the time. It's called On Trend by Jen Allison. So I started off with this particular design here. It's something, I, I flipped through it looking for something that I probably wouldn't use uh, for anything else because the pattern, it's okay. The colors are very pretty, but I don't think I would actually use this for something. And I definitely am not too hot about this pattern, but the colors are really cute. And when you make a pinwheel, you do fold, not really fold, fold, but you kind of turn your pieces over so you don't see that much of the pattern. And I love how that comes out. I'm sorry if I'm losing light here. So it's a 6x6 six six pad. You do have to cut off the top part, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, right here, even though it looks like it's a perforation, sorry for the lighting, it's just drawn in, so you have to cut there so you get your 6x6. Six six. So let me, oh yeah, and then, sorry, these flowers match perfectly this pad, and these are from the Dollar Tree. So... I'm glad I picked up like six packages of these. They're so cute. They are dimensional. I didn't use the backing, the back, the last pop dot that it has because I wanted it to kind of lay flat on the straw. So, you know, when you're picking up things from different places and different brands, a lot of the stuff goes together. So you don't really have to spend so much on the actual embellishments that might come from a name brand stuff. Um, I will be making more. I pulled out this one because I want some pink ones. I have pink straws and blue straws. So uh, at the moment, this is the first one that I made. Absolutely love it. I have these brads also from Michaels from a while back. Because I couldn't find... I'm pretty sure I had other brads, but this is all I have left. And I wouldn't normally use these colors because they're more like orange and yellow. But they went well with this paper. So um, I already cut one out. I'm not going to be cutting one on camera. I just wanted you to see it and I'll put it together for you. I have my glue gun on too. Um, what I do want to show you, and I'm going to pull this off, is the file. So here's my library on my, um, this is what I have, Silhouette Studio, um, Studio 3. And my arrow is actually pointing on the, the one. And it's called Pinwheel, but this is how it looks. Because I think this is the one over here that comes with your so I might have purchased this from the Silhouette store. Let me see. Yeah, it's a recent download. So that one I purchased. And I probably got it when I first bought my machine because you got a lot of freebies. Okay, so that's... Um, let me see, where do I go now? <laughs> I think I could just close here. Yeah. So I set my the size of my paper to six by six but you can set you got your 12 by 12 mat in the background that's what I'm using and then I set my paper to six by six so I can size it better and you see there's a bit of a border there I'm still trying to find oh I'm sorry right here under under design page settings right there width and height 
I'm hoping you can hear me because the camera's far away from my face. I put it at 6x6, 12x12 cutting mat. And then your cut settings for that particular paper, I have it at plain card stock. And let's see if I can open up. It's set at, the blade is at 2, the speed is at 4, the thickness is at 11. And all I'm going to do is cut it out. So I stretched it out and it made this size, which is probably more than big enough for the stick it's on. And you can definitely make them smaller. I just wanted to make kind of a normal size. It gives you your holes, the one in the middle and then on each corner there. Okay, let me put this back on the holder. All right. So you do want to use double-sided paper if you don't want to see white. Um, but it's okay if you... If, white is not that bad either, so you can have a pattern in white. But I like double-sided. So you just got to pick out which one... You know, how do you want to see it? Do you want to see it like this with one pattern? Or you could turn it around. Where's my thing? And it's kind of a different look. And you can make like a whole bunch and just reverse each side and then you get a couple of different patterns. All I have are these colors. Ah, I have one green one. Yes, perfect. So I'm definitely going to have to go and get myself some brads. Okay. So being that I'm not making an actual working pinwheel... I'm just going to put this part together and the way I do it, my hands are so dry, I stick the um, brad in the first that's going to be on the top and then just keep working my way underneath each last, um, whatever that's called. And then the last one's slightly tricky but it still works. Get it under there and now you're holding them all together and then you're going to just pop it through that back hole. Now that's all in place, and then you just open the little feet, and then you got your pinwheel. So now you take your straw. Let's see what did I use last time? I think I could use a pink one. I mean, light pink. Yeah, that's cute with a light pink. And um, I don't want it to be like this because I'm going to be covering that backing. Unless you use some kind of fabric or something, that's going to be a little thick. So I'm going to just flatten that out just enough so that I can put some glue and it's going to hold just about there. Put some hot glue. I'm just going to put enough so it sticks good. And then place it, since it's not a moving pinwheel, I want to place it so that it's not directly where this point is. It's kind of in between these two parts and you could scoot that down a little bit. Maybe it's, you know, yeah, that's good. I think it's going to be a little hot. So just, okay. And then pick out a flower, a flat flower. You can use a crocheted, um, a little crocheted disc or doily fabric flower, whatever you want. Let's see. What did I use on the last one? Maybe I'll just use this. And it does have a pop dot, and you can use that if you like. But I want to really um, make a lot of contact so that it just flattens out completely. So now it's flat, and I'm just going to add a lot of glue to that. Place it on that, and now I'm going to cover it up and flatten it out. There's still dimension on this because it has two other layers that are on pop dots too. So the only thing I'm really flattening out is that very first. Whoops. Yeah. Sometimes that happens too. We'll just glue that on. You know these things are not the best as far as adhesive is concerned. Even on brand name stuff. So you see how that's flat. And... There you go. So there is a pinwheel using files. So I didn't have to go and buy all that. Um, I didn't have to buy the punch board or the um, mechanism and more straws. And 
Um, luckily, I remembered that I had those files. So now I'm just going to make a few more. And I'm probably going to, I like this size. But I might do some smaller with the same straws. All right, so I wanted to show you the rest. Um, here's one more large one that I made in the pink using that baby. What's it called? Um, it's from Pebble Special Delivery, and I got this because it has a lot of pinks. And then there's a few sheets that are yeah baby related, and I don't need baby papers. But um, the majority of it I can use for just you know for the pink. And I did use one of the pre-made Maggie Holmes from Crate Paper, one of these guys. I think I got this from, yeah, I did. I got it from Tuesday morning. And Haley is over here joining us, so she may or may not show up. Okay. So that's the third one. And then I went and shrunk it down half 50% and got four out of one sheet because I don't like to waste. I don't want to just cut the paper out of this one again. I didn't use this one. I used a different one, but you can get four smaller versions and they're actually not that tiny. I'm sure you can go even smaller, but then you might want to use tweezers to put it together. Um, it was a little difficult trying to get those brads in, but I did remove the little epoxy covers that they have. I left these two plain and I did reverse, you know, so that I would get different looks so you can actually fit half back pearls in there or cabochons whatever you want to put there or cover the whole thing with a flower I just use a half back pearl that you could find at NSK in a Tasha scrapbook corner I have like a little bag full of those and it's a thick half back pearl it's not that thin so these I'm just going to leave as is I'm not putting them on sticks because I wanted to use it as an embellishment so I made a quick little card using the celebrate box of cards from Hobby Lobby that I had gotten 50% off of $11.99 these colors some of the colors do coordinate like with the I think this is the one that I use right here so um, even though it's more on the peach side the mints really go well with this and the mint on that as well but anyway I took one of those cards and I decorated it a little bit and made it a little bit dimensional. It still slides into my envelope, just a little snug, a little bulky, but anyway, I did take the lace from Michaels, the vintage blush, rose antique, the mint color, and a piece of trim also from Michaels from the $1.50 spot, just to put in the middle. And it is sticky. I wasn't sure if it was like a sticker type of trim, and it is, so that's really good. I might have to get me some more because I like that. It, it, I like the way it came out. So I started with the lace, then sent, then uh, put the trim in the middle. Added this tag that says hello, which I also think is from Michaels when they had um, these this particular item out in their $1.50 bin. And here is my small pinwheel. So I don't know if it's showing up. This is a lot of like dark but yeah I mixed the silver and the gold because this um, there is gold in here just I used the silver side because I believe this color here this peachy pink is actually with the silver and then if you use the teal and I didn't want to use that that has the gold so it's a mixture um, I was hoping that there was one like this but with gold but it's okay you can mix your silvers and golds together Again, I put the halfback pearl on that. So it makes a cute little embellishment. And you could still put it on a stick if you want to. It will still work. You can always cut it down or leave it high, whatever. So, yeah. And you could size this as big or small as you want. Make little embellishments. Put whatever you want on top. And it's just so cute and so easy to put together especially with the files easy to cut and just stick together I gotta get me some more brads though um, I stopped making some because I only have a few brads left so here's the big ones again and teeny tiny ones and again those little epoxy things do pop off easily and that's the back alright everyone so thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye now